Hello everyone, I am Vanessa with Online Yoga School. And we're going to get our mind and our bodies ready for our yoga practice here today by finding ourselves in a comfortable seated pose. Any seated pose that feels good for you. May you find that seat. I am going to come into a half lotus. As we are using our easy seat, our seated pose, to help ground, relax, and soothe our mind and our bodies here today. Ensuring that our tummies are nice and tight at our navel. Our spinal cords are nice and elongated here, meaning we are not sunken down. We have control of our bodies. With our shoulders relaxed downward away from our ears. As we take a nice, deep, intentional breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. Taking a moment to notice how the breath feels within the body. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer. Noticing how we feel right here, right now, in our present moment. Simply being aware without judgment. As we relax here in our seated pose in silence, meditation for four natural breaths. Two more breaths. Breathe in, exhale, feeling the mind and body relax. As we flow our palms above our heads, coming into that seated salute, palms reaches up towards the heavens, shoulders flows upwards towards the ears, feeling that spine get nice and long. Our heart chakra is open, our chin is slightly up. Breathe in. Feeling that stretch, interlacing our palms together with our pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens. Allowing those arms to flow slightly towards the back. Chin is up. Feel in this slight back bend. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into center, bringing our palms away from each other, coming into that seated channeling pose. With our arms up nice and high, we are channeling in positivity, hope, and inspiration. We are welcoming in whatever is serving and needed for us on our lives here. Keeping our eyes gazed down, may we welcome in positive change. Three breaths. Two more breaths. As we twist our bodies towards the right, allowing our palms to come downward towards the earth, we're gonna slightly gaze over our right shoulder. We are in that seated twist. As we are using this twist to help soothe and relax our spine, three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling the body back to center, coming into a seated star. In a seated star, our palms are outward towards the side. Heart chakra is open. Chin is up. Breathe in. Twisting the body towards the left. Palms come downward towards the earth as we gaze over that left shoulder. Seated twist, opposite side. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling the body back to center, flowing into that star. As we flow into our salute, palms together. Exhaling down to prayer, breathing our palms at heart center, relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears. When we relax our shoulders downward, we allow the upper parts of our bodies to soothe. A lot of times we hold tension in our shoulders and we sit with our shoulders slightly shrugged. 
So may we always remember to relax those shoulders downward. This allows us to relax the upper parts of our bodies. With our eyes gazed down or closed, <clears throat> I'm sorry. With our eyes gazed down or closed, two breaths. Exhaling back up to our salutes, feeling that movement here, flowing those arms above the head, chin is up. Feeling that nice deep breath. Exhale. Breathe in. Exhale. Slightly separating our palms. We are in our seated extended mountain, meaning our palms are separated. They are not together. As we lean our bodies towards the right, coming into that seated side bend. Slightly gazing up at the heavens. Opening up their heart chakra, three breaths. Two breaths. As we breathe our palms together, if we choose, now we're in that seated crescent moon. When we bring our palms together, we are in that crescent moon. When we separate our palms, we are in that seated side bend. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center. Breathe in, exhale. Relaxing that body as our body leans towards the left. We can keep our palms together in our crescent moon or we can separate our palms. Whatever feels best for you as we are gazing up at the heavens, opening up their heart chakra. Noticing how this feels here in our side body. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center. Breathing our palms down with our heart center. Relaxing those shoulders down with away from the ears. Noticing how that feels when we purposely and intentionally relax the shoulders down. Feeling that ease and relaxation in the upper parts of the body. Two breaths. As we flow our feet into a bound position, bringing our feet together, we are in our bound pose here. Positioning our bodies to feel comfortable. We can be in our diamond or our butterfly. In our diamond, our feet are further away from our bodies. This is a nice hip opener. In a butterfly, our feet are closer towards our bodies. This is a little deeper in a hip opener. So taking a moment to see which one feels best for you as we relax here in our bound position, connecting our hands to our feet. Their heart chakra is open and that chin is up. Gaze in the eyes down if that feels good. As we breathe, allowing our head to slightly flow between our shoulder blades, finding our bodies in a bound cow pose. Two more breaths. Exhale into our cat. We're going to bring our chin to our clavicle. Spinal cord goes to the back of the room. Two breaths. Exhale back to our cow. Flow into our cat. Coming back to our diamond or our butterfly as we slightly hinge at the hips. Noticing that when we hinge at the hips, we come deeper into that hip opener here. Going deeper into that pose, allowing our torso to come downward towards our feet. Allowing our head to relax downward towards our feet. Shoulder blades flows, melts forwards, allowing that body to completely relax. Only going down as much as your body comfortably allows you to go to. Noticing the deeper, the closer we get to the earth, the more we can feel it in our hip flex in our hip flexors. So listening to your body. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Two 
And exhaling back to center, relaxing that body, using our hands to bring our knees inward. We're going to straighten out our legs, coming into a staff pose. Our legs are parallel, side by side, with our toes pointing up towards the heavens. Our backs, our spinal cords are nice and long. Shoulders melted down. Heart chakras open, chin is up. We are relaxing here in our staff pose, just allowing our bodies to connect to the earth. Tummies are tight, backs are nice and long here. Two breaths. As we flow our palms above our heads, coming into that salute, palms are above the head, palms are together. Interlacing those fingers, pointer finger pointing up, allowing those arms to slightly flow towards the back, chin is up. Two breaths. Exhale into center, breathing our palms down with that heart center, relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears. Gazing forward with our eyes closed or gaze down at the earth. Breathe in. Exhale, hinging at the hips, allowing our torso to come closer towards our thighs. Reaching our hands downward towards our ankles or the lower parts of our feet. Allowing that head to relax downward towards the knees. Shoulder blades melt forward. We are in our half forward fold or our complete forward fold. Whichever feels best for you and your body. We're gonna hang out here for five natural breaths. Maybe slightly pointing your toes downward towards the earth, feeling that plantar flex, going deeper in that stretch. Noticing that when we point our toes down, we'll feel that stretch a little bit more in our thighs, in our hamstrings. Three more breaths. Exhale into that half forward fold if it was not complete. Breathing back up to our staff pose, relaxing this body here. We're going to come up slightly on our buttocks. We're going to bend our knees and we're going to bring our feet off the earth as we connect our hands to our feet. Noticing your knees come closer towards your torso. Maybe they're out towards the side. Our tummies are tight and our backs are nice and straight here. As we are gaze forward with our chin up, gazing our eyes downward or closing our eyes if that feels good for us. And we're gonna simply just notice how this pose feels within the body. Two more breaths. As we exhale the left leg out towards the side, feeling that stretch here in our hamstring. You'll feel it all behind your legs here. We have our heart chakra open and our chin up. Backs are nice and elongated here. Tummies are tight. Three breaths. Maybe we're allowing that leg to slightly flow towards the side, coming deeper in that stretch. Two more breaths. Exhaling that leg back inward. Both of our feet are still in our hands as we extend that right leg out towards the side. Building that stretch here in the hamstrings. Maybe allowing that leg to flow outwards towards the side if we're able. Feeling that nice deep stretch. Chin is up, heart chakra is open. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, breathing that leg inward. We're gonna cross our feet at our ankles. Tummies are nice and tight here. And we're gonna flow into a boat pose. Straightening out those legs parallel side by side. Noticing how our body slightly leans towards the back, but our backs are still straight. But we can straighten out our legs, coming into that full bow. Our tummies are nice and tight. Whatever bow pose, boat pose feels best for you. Five breaths. Mm. 
We are working our core and building our balance. Three more breaths. We can feel this pose in our legs as well. Two breaths. We're gonna hold this pose. We're gonna bring our hands inward and we're gonna pound our hands from left to right. We are now working our obliques. We can cross our feet at our ankles if that feels good. Listening to your body here, my voice is just a guide. Four more breaths. Two breaths. As we find that pause, breathe, we're gonna breathe our hands back into our feet, playing with our feet and our hand, lifting our legs up and down. Tummy is tight, noticing how this feels here. We're gonna find that pause, breathing our bottoms of our feet back together, coming to that bound position, allowing those feet to flow towards the air, straightening our bodies to feel comfortable as we slightly hinge at the hips. Taking a nice breath in, exhale. Torso melts forward, head flows downward towards the feet, eyes are closed or gaze down. Mind is relaxing, body is relaxing. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into our bound position, using our hands to bring our knees inward, crossing our feet maybe if, as we come into a tabletop pose. Knees are hip distance apart here on our table. Tummies are nice and tight. Palms are flat on the earth here. We are gaze forward, dropping our tummies down, but out slightly in the air. We are in that cow pose, allowing that head to relax between the shoulder blades. Breathe in. Exhale to cat, lowering that chin to the clavicle, spinal cord goes up towards the heavens. Exhale back to cow. Breathing to our cat. Lowering back to cow. Exhale into our table position. As we breathe our right leg towards the back, we are in our sunbird pose. So right leg flows towards the back here, feeling that stretch, lifting that right leg up nice and high. So you'll feel that gluteus maximus get nice and tight here. As we are gaze forward, chin is up. As we pulse that right leg up in the air, feeling that pulse, we are working our gluteus maximus, our buttocks. We are lifting and rounding our butt. Four more breaths. Yes, we are feeling that burn. We're gonna keep on flowing. Two more breaths. Finding that pause, we're gonna extend that left arm forward. So we have that left arm forward, right legs towards the back. We are gaze forward. We are in that full sunbird pose here. Tummies are tight. Three breaths. Two breaths. Breathe in deeply. Exhale, knee to elbow, feeling that tummy crunch. Back the bird. Knee to elbow. Flowing back to bird. Knee to elbow. Exhale, back the bird. Holding this two breaths. Flowing to our table. We're gonna drop that body down to our cow. Holding this cow for two breaths, feeling this in our lumbar spine, our lower back. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to our table as we extend that left leg towards the back, nice and long here. Feeling that stretch, palms are flat on the earth. And we're gonna lift that left leg up nice and high, feeling that gluteus maximus burn here. Tightening and lifting that buttocks. We are gaze forward, Tummies are tight. As we pulse that left leg up. Yes, feeling that gluteus maximus work. 
you may be feeling that burn already. As we know, our gluteus maximus, our blood ox, is one of our busy, biggest muscles in our body. <sighs> feeling that pulse, three more breaths. Two breaths. As we find that pause, we're gonna extend this right arm forward. So we have that left leg towards the back, right arm forward. As we are gaze forward, tummies are tight. We are balancing our bodies here. Sunbury pose, three more breaths. Two breaths. <sighs> nice deep breath in. Exhale, knee to elbow, feeling that crunch. Back to bird, knee to elbow, back to bird, knee to elbow, back to bird, two breaths. Exhale into our table, knees are hip distance apart. We're gonna drop down to cow, exhale to cat, lower back to our table. We're gonna come up onto our knees. Just lifting our bodies up. We are up on our knees. Shoulders relaxes downward. Arms flows towards our side. We are gaze forward. As we place our hands on the lower parts of our backs. Allowing our bodies to slightly lean towards the back. So their heart chakra comes up. As our shoulder blades and our head relaxes towards the back. We are in our camel prep pose here. When we're going backwards, we are tilting our pelvic forward. So this is kind of a pelvic tilt. Noticing how this massages and soothes the lumbar spine. We're gonna hold this camel prep pose for four breaths. Two more breaths. And if we're able, we can release our hands, lowering our hands down behind our backs, interlacing our fingers, allowing that head to flow towards the back, if we're able. Two more breaths. Exhaling out, we're gonna bend our knees, so we're gonna flow. Exhaling out, we're going to bend our knees and we're going to flow into a puppy pose. Breathing our legs slightly together. Torso comes downward towards the earth. Buttocks is high in the air. Our third eye chakra, our forehead connects to the earth. And noticing how this puppy pose feels in the lower back. Yes, we are working and soothing the lower spine here today. As we take a nice deep breath in. Using that breath to relax the body. Exhale. Feeling that body soothe as our shoulder blades melt forward here. Eyes are closed to gaze down. Five breaths. Three more breaths. With our palms flat on the earth, we're going to spinal wave our bodies out of our puppy pose, using our palms, our arms to push our torsos forward, filling that spinal wave, using our hands to push our butt out towards our heels of our feet. And we are literally waving the body, feeling that body wave, feeling the rhythm of the hips and the spinal cord here in the spinal wave. Three breaths. Two more breaths. As we find our paws at table, bringing our knees at hip distance apart, we're gonna drop back down to our cow. Exhale into our cat. Lower back to our table. 
As we come back up to our hands and our knees, we're gonna bring our palms back to the lower parts of our bodies, working on that camel prep here. Heart chakra is up, chin comes up, shoulder blades rolls towards the back here. And this time we're gonna work on a half camel. We're gonna take this left, I'm sorry, this right hand. Let's start on the right side. We're gonna take this right hand, connect this right hand to our right heel. Noticing how our, our pelvic tilts forward, our heart chakra is open, and our head relaxes towards the shoulder blades. This is a deeper back bend. And if we choose, we can option to extend our arm above our head, just having fun in the pose. Or we can let that left arm flow all the way over our head, noticing how the back bend feels a little deeper. So whatever you choose, half camel, four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling out, coming back to our knees. We're gonna drop our bodies down. We're com coming back into that puppy's pose. Knees come together slightly, buttocks is in the air. Torso comes downward towards the earth. Extending those arms in front of us, palms are flat on the earth. Puppy pose, three breaths. Mm. Two more breaths. As we spine away, wave our bodies out of our puppy. Coming onto our hands and our knees. Back in that table. Coming back up to our knees. We are back in that camel pose. Connecting our hands to the lower parts of our bodies, allowing our torso to flow towards the back. Feeling that pelvic tilt. Heart chakra is coming up in the air. Head relaxes between the shoulder blades. And if this feels well, we're gonna connect our left hand to the left heel of our foot, allowing that body to relax here in our half camel, feeling this back bend. And if we choose, we can extend that right arm above our head. Or we can allow that arm to flow over the body, over the head, coming deeper into that half camel. Whatever you choose, four more breaths. Two breaths. And if anyone chooses to, we can flow into a full camel by connecting both hands to our heels. Two more breaths. Exhaling out as we flow into a child's pose or a puppy pose. Allowing our torso to come down. We are relaxing and soothing the spine. Heart chakra melts forward, shoulder blades melts forward. Eyes are gazed down and closed. As we relax and soothe here, five natural breaths. Mm. If we're in our puppy pose, may we relax our buttocks downward, coming into a child's pose, bringing our bodies closer towards the earth. Nice breath in. Exhale. Feeling the body melt forward into the yoga mat. Feeling that body soothe, feeling the mind relax.
child's pose. Four more breaths. Two more breaths. Extending those arms in front of us, palms are flat on the earth as we spinal wave our bodies out of our child's pose. Feeling that spinal wave, three breaths. Two more breaths. Finding our paws at table, dropping down to our cow. Exhale to cat. Lower back to table as we push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet. Pushing our torso towards our thighs, feeling that nice deep stretch. As we walk our dog by pedaling our feet left and right, with our tummies tight here, have a control of our core. Have a control of our core muscles. As we find that pause, we're gonna shift that body forward, coming into that high plank. Two breaths. Dropping down to our low plank or our chaturanga, hovering over our yoga mat. Exhaling down to our tummies, coming on to our forearms. We are in that Spanx pose, ensuring that our shoulders are not shrugged, relaxing those shoulders away from the ears. This allows us to have control of our bodies as we are gaze forward with our eyes closed or gaze down. Breathe in. Exhale. This Sphinx pose is a slight back bend. It's also a relaxing and soothing pose. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into our baby cobra, bringing our palms next to our torso, slightly pushing our torso away from the earth. Elbows are slightly straight, baby cobra. Chin is up. Exhale into our cobra, straightening those elbows. Torso is further away from the earth. This is a deeper back bend. Chin is up. Exhale into up dog, using our toes to push our thighs off the earth. Now we're in that up dog. Chin is up. Two more breaths. Exhale, down dog, gazing at the feet. Walking our dog by pedal on our feet, left and right. Finding pause, we're gonna walk our feet towards our hands, complete forward fold, allowing that torso to relax over the thighs, head melts down. This is a full body stretch. Breathe in deep. Exhale fully. Feeling the body relax and soothe with the heart connected to the thighs, feeling the heartbeat regularly. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into half forward folds, slightly gazing forward. Three more breaths. Breathe, complete forward fold. Exhale, half forward fold. As we yogi walk our feet slightly apart, creating that stance. <sighs> As we flow back down to that complete forward fold, 
connecting our hands to our ankles. Allowing that head to relax completely down, feeling this stretch within the body. Maybe we can close our eyes if that feels good or softly gaze the eyes down. Three breaths. As we flow into our rag dial, we're gonna connect our hands to our elbows. Feeling this deep stretch here. And maybe we can sway our bodies, rock our bodies from side to side in that rag dial. Noticing that when we sway, when we rock, we'll feel the stretch deeper behind our legs here in our hamstrings. As we hold this rag dial pose, Swaying or staying still for five breaths. Two more breaths. Finding pose at center, we're gonna widen our legs a little bit more, coming into that wide-legged half forward fold. So we're slightly gazing forward. Maybe our fingertips are connected to the earth, maybe. As we flow into that wide-legged forward fold, connecting our hands to our ankles, head melts down. Allowing those shoulder blades to relax forward. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into that half forward fold, slightly gazing forward. As we point our toes to the outer parts of our yoga mat here. Let's point those toes out towards the side. As we come up into that Tadasana, we're gonna bend our knees, come into a cactus hands. We are in that goddess or God stance. We are working the lower parts of our bodies. Feeling that body burn and move. Getting nice and strong here. God, God is dance. As we flow our palms above our heads, chin slightly up. Two more breaths. Exhale into prayer, palms at heart center. Exhale, complete forward fold, relaxing the body. This forward fold is a counter stretch to what we just did. Noticing how it relaxes and soothes those legs. Two more breaths. Exhale into half forward. Coming back up nice and tall in that wide leg of Tadasana. Bringing our palms and our cactus hands, bending our knees. We are back in our goddess, and our goddess, our god stance here. <sighs> as we pulse our bodies up and down. Noticing when we pulse, we feel that burn. Three breaths, two breaths, finding pulse as we rock our body from side to side. Feeling how this feels in the body. Noticing how this feels in the body. Two more breaths, finding our pulse, straightening our legs, Bringing our arms to the side, standing star. Heart chakras open, chin is up. <sighs> Breathe in deeply. Exhale. As we are feeling nice and strong, just like a star, because we are a star. Shining bright, being bright, feeling bright, feeling high. <sighs> We are lighting the way for ourselves and maybe even for others. Flowing our palms above our heads in that salute. Chin is up. Exhale to prayer. Palms are at heart center. Relaxing the shoulders down away from the ears. Two breaths. 
flowing back to those cactus hands, bending those knees, coming back to that God or goddess stance. Feeling this body relaxing. And we can pulse up and down or we can rock if you choose. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Finding our pulse, connecting our hands to our thighs, resting our hands kind of like right above our knees here. Like we're relaxing. Feel that relaxation going on here? We're going to work on our goddess twist. We're going to take this right shoulder and twist it towards the left. Feel that? Gazing over that left shoulder. We are in that goddess twist. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center. Feeling that body as we twist this left shoulder towards the right side. Gazing over that right shoulder. Feeling this goddess twist. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center. Straightening out those legs. Exhale, complete forward fold. Connecting the hands to the ankles, allowing that head to relax down. Four breaths. <sighs> Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. Two more breaths. Walking our hands together, walking our hands forward, bringing our feet together. We are back in our down dog. Cuddling our feet by walking our dog. As we find that pause, we're gonna breathe our right foot towards our right hand. We are in that runner's lunge. As we straighten out that front leg, coming into that pyramid. Allowing that torso to relax over that thigh. Head melts downward towards the knee, feeling this stretch. Three more breaths. Exhale back, runner's lunge, bending that front knee. As we lift our bodies up, we're gonna flow into a warrior two. Feeling this warrior two within the body. Hands are out towards the side or out front and back. Heart chakras open, chin is up. <sighs> Exhale into warrior one or high lunge. High lunge. Warrior one. Whatever feels best for you and your body. Two more breaths. Going back to warrior two. Exhale, reverse warrior. Breathing to our side angle. Or our extended side angle, meaning our arms up in the air or flowing over the head. Two more breaths. Back to our side angle. We're gonna take this right arm, connect this right arm down towards the feet, towards the earth. Lifting this left arm up in the air, gazing up at that left hand. Feeling that stretch here. We are still in our side angle. Two more breaths. Exhale, flowing the palms downward towards the earth. We are back in that runner's lunge, breathing to down dog. Gazing at the feet. Walking our dog by pedaling our feet left and right. Tummies are tight. Finding that pause. We're going to breathe that left foot to that left hand. Runner's lunge. Opposite side. <sighs> Feeling that stretch. <sighs> As we straighten that front leg, coming into that pyramid. Torso relaxes over that thigh. Head melts downward towards the knee. 
Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, bending that front knee back into that runner's lunge. Exhaling up to warrior two, feeling that body movement here. Feeling that body flowing. Two more breaths, warrior two. Exhaling to warrior one or high lunge. This is our high lunge. This is our warrior one. Whatever feels best for you or your body. Two more breaths. Exhale back to warrior two. Maybe we can put a nice smile on our faces, filling our bodies just light up the room here. Nice big smile, working those facial muscles as we flow into Reverse Warrior. Exhaling to side angle, crossing that left arm over that thigh. Or extended side angle, breathing that right arm up in the air. Or over that head, feeling that stretch. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to side angle. Taking this left hand, connecting it to the earth. Palms flat on the earth. <sighs> Lifting that right arm up in the air, gazing up at those right fingers. We are still in that side angle, opposite side. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling forward, both palms are flat on the earth. We are back in that runner's lunge, breathing to our damn dog. Gazing at our feet, maybe walk our dog, our head on our legs. Finding our pause, we're gonna come on down to a dolphin pose, coming on to our forearms. Buttocks is high in the air. Gazing back at our feet, head relaxes and, and dangles down. Ensuring that our neck feels nice and comfortable here. Maybe we can walk our feet closer towards our bodies, noticing how your buttocks comes higher in the air. This dolphin pose preps and prepares the mind and body for head state. Five breaths. Maybe pulsing up and down on the tippy toes if that feels good for you. Three more breaths. Dropping down to our knees, maybe flow into a wide legged child's pose or puppy pose. Whatever feels best for you and your body. Allowing that torso to come downward towards the earth. Our third eye chakra, our forehead connects to the earth. Our arms are extended in front of us, palms are flat on the earth. That makes this pose an extended child's pose or puppy pose if you're there. As we take a nice deep breath in, exhale. Torso melts forward, connecting to the earth. Fill in one with our environment as our third eye chakra, our forehead, is also connected to the earth. As we relax here, as we relax here in silent meditation, a seven natural breaths going inward. <sighs>
three more breaths. With our palms flat on the earth, may we spinal wave our bodies out of this pose. Three spinal waves, please. <sighs> Finding our pose at center, coming to that table. Knees are hip distance apart, drop into cow. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to our table, crossing our feet at our ankles. We're gonna come into a seated pose just for a second. We're gonna flow one down over to our backs. Lying flat on our backs, bringing our knees into our chest, hugging our knees into our chest. Allowing our shoulder blades to connect to the earth here. With our eyes gazed down to close, gazing upwards at the heavens. We're gonna hang out here for three breaths. Two breaths. Breathe in. Exhale. Extending those legs up in the air, legs on the wall poles. As we are pointing our toes upwards towards the heavens, coming into that plantar flex. Legs on the wall pose. Plantar flexing those toes upwards towards the heavens. Feeling that stretch. Reaching our hands down to the lower parts of our legs as we breathe our legs towards our torso. Legs to torso stretch. Buttocks come slightly off the earth. Exhale back up to legs on the wall. As we do a wide, as we do a recline, wide legged stretch here. So allowing those legs to flow towards the sides, feeling that wide-legged stretch here. Three more breaths. Plantar flexing those toes, pointing those toes outwards. Two more breaths. Exhale, breathing those legs back together, legs on the wall. Our toes are still pointing up, clear to flex. Breathing our knees into our chest, placing our feet flat on the earth. We're gonna work on a bridge pose here. So our feet is flat on the earth, knees are in the air. Palms are flat on the earth next to our buttocks. As we use our feet and our palms to lift our hips off the earth here. Doing that gluteus maximus buttocks get nice and tight. And we are in our nice, easy baby. We are in our, I'm not going to call it easier baby. We are in our low bridge. So we are in our bridge pose. And we can pulse the body up and down here in that bridge. Or if we want to go deeper and come into a high bridge, we can interlace our hands underneath our buttocks, connecting our hands together. We can walk our shoulder blades towards our spine, noticing how our hips and our torso comes higher in the air. Now we're in our deep bridge and we can pulse our bodies up and down if that feels good for us. Working that gluteus maximus a little more. Or we can stay still in our bridge. We even can flow in a one-legged bridge, placing one feet on top of the thigh and switching sides and doing the other side. Whatever feels good for you, we're gonna freestyle in our bridge, pulsing, staying still, whatever you choose. Seven breaths. Five more breaths. Three 
breath. Two breaths. And we're gonna pulse that body up here in our bridge. Just give it a little try. Pulsing the hips up, feeling that gluteus maximus burned, bringing the hips slightly down. Pulsing it back up, feeling that burn. We're gonna squeeze the gluteus maximus together here. Just feeling that squeeze, 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 nice and tight, holding it, pulsing it slightly down, and squeezing it back up. Feeling that body lift, feeling that butt round. Three more breaths. Pulsing it and holding it nice and tight. Squeeze, two more breaths. Unintelacing those fingers, exhaling, untucking those shoulders, breathing those knees into the chest, hugging the knees into the chest. Breathe in. Exhale. As we allow our knees to flow towards the left, we are in that reclined spinal twist. Knees flow to the left, feeling that spinal cord relax and soothe. Right arm goes out to the side like a T. As we gaze over that right arm or gaze up at the heavens, whatever feels best for you. Eyes are gazed down and closed. Feeling that body, feeling that mind go inward. Five breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into center, hugging those knees into the chest. Breathe in. Exhale. Allowing those knees to fall towards the right. Recline spinal twist, opposite side. Soothing and relaxing that spine here. Body relaxes into the yoga mat. Left arm goes out to the side like a T. As we gaze over that left shoulder or gaze up at the heavens, whatever feels best for you. Going inward. Relax. Comfort in oneself. Five more breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale back to center, hugging those knees into the chest. Exhale, our legs parallel side by side, flowing into that shavasana pose. Legs are parallel, relaxing. The sides of our feet are connecting. Shoulder blades melts back into the earth. Palms relaxes at our side, on our chest, wherever we choose. As our feet Completely fall to the side like a bee, allowing those legs to completely relax. Gaze in the eyes down or close in the eyes as we relax here in our Shavasana. Focusing on self, going inward. Five natural breaths. Two breaths. As we flow onto our side, coming into a fetus pose, a fetal pose, 
Keeping our eyes gaze down or closed, as that feels good for us. We're going to relax and soothe here for three more breaths. Slowly rotating our ankles and moving our hips. We're going to use our top hand to push our bodies up out of these fetal pose, coming into a seated pose. I'm going to come into a cow face raise, crossing my legs on top of each other. May you find any easy seat that feels good for you and your body at this moment. If you choose to stay in Shavasana or fetal pose, may you do so. If we're in our seated pose, ensuring that our tummies are tight, our spinal cords are nice and long. Our shoulders are relaxed downward away from the ears. As we take a nice deep breath in, exhale. Ensuring that our chin is relaxed. Our facial muscles are relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer, gazing downward at the earth or closing our eyes if that feels good for us. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. As we use this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we find time for self. And I would just like to thank you for allowing me to practice self-care with you here today. For it truly, truly is a blessing. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you all. Namaste.